Okay, I just finished finished part two, and I'm about to start part three of five for the career agent of exploration in EVE. So I'm going to hit request mission, and it's going to give me information about quest three of five, mission three of five. Yes, I have something for you. Now you'll start scanning for each type of cosmic signature, something you can only you do by using core scanner probes. First up is a data site, and that means you need to fit your ship with the civilian data analyzer that you picked up earlier. Scan down the site with your scanner probes, find the container inside, and hack it open with the data analyzer. Then bring the results back to me. Your loot from the data sites will be useful for invention, a research process that produces blueprints for advanced Tech 2 ships and modules. Yeah, so you'll hack open the boxes and you'll get data cores and encryptors. And the data cores and encryptors, along with a tier 1 blueprint, a tech 1 blueprint, you use those together to get a tech 2 blueprint. Okay, so let's accept the mission and close the dialogue. But we need to fit our ship, so if I open the ship fitting we can see that I don't have any modules on this Bantam that they gave us. So let's open the cargo, or the inventory rather, Alt-C to open the inventory, go to our item hanger. I'm sorry, it's still in my ship cargo, so click on the ship cargo here. And this is the stuff we picked up in the last mission. So I'm going to take the core probe launcher and drop it on my ship to equip it. And I'm going to take the data analyzer, which is the one I need for a data site and we need to probe the core scanner probes. Those are basically the ammo for our probe launcher. So we'll drop them right in there like that. And we might as well just equip the relic analyzer while we're at it. So now we've got all that stuff equipped to our ship. All right, now we can undock and go find this site. Now scanning is a little complicated and it'll take a little bit to get used to it, but I'll show you the important things. So now that we're out, you can launch your probes. It doesn't really matter where you are with your ship. You can be anywhere, but you can launch your probes. So let's, uh, instead of launching them and just clicking, I want to show you how to do it this way. This is the better way. Go to your scanner, which you're going to find down here, and then go move your mouse to the left. And you can also get there with Alt-P. So we click on that one on the left, and we get our scanning window. Now if we look around, we can see our solar system, and we can see there's some things that are green and red. The green ones mean we already have 100% lock on them, uh, on their signature, and those are the anomalies. We don't even need probes. All Everybody can see those. And we can see some of them are asteroid belts, and when we mouse over, it'll highlight the the signature on the space out here. So we can go over here and we can look around and we can see, okay, those green signatures, the anomaly training site, those are the ones that we found in our first mission that other people are doing. The, the red ones are the ones that we need to scan down with our probe to figure out what they are. They're just unknown signatures here. So to launch our probes, let's click down here on the launch bar. On the left, we want launch pinpoint formation. Okay, so now our probes are in space. Our probes are represented by these blue spheres. And we can move them around. We can move it up and down, left and right. And we can even grab the box directly on a side. And depending on what side we grab it on, that's the axis that we're, we're locking it on the moving. So typically, you can just move up and down and side by side as needed. And you'll generally want to move it like this, then do a side view and make sure that it's not too high or too low. So let's look for a data site. So let's take our probes and let's make them really big first. So you can do that down here where it says probe size. You can click and you can drag this left and right to set the scan radius. So let's zoom out a little bit and let's just try setting them as max with our probes centered in the center of our solar system. So that looks pretty good. It's a big wide scan. Now we can click on analyze or use the shortcut of B. 
So I'll press B. And then the probes are going to warp to the location. And then they're going to perform their scan. So they just warped. Now they're scanning. It'll take a few seconds for the scan to complete. And now we can see we got a hit on a lot of sites. So let's organize them by signal. So if we click on the signal column, we can sort it. And we can see the green ones here. These look like the anomalies that we saw earlier. And then we have gas site, gas site, data site, relic site, data site. We're looking for a data site, our, our agent told us specifically. So let's just pick the data site that has the highest percentage signature and let's double click it. When you double click it, it's going to center your camera around that particular anomaly, which will make it a, not, a lot easier. I say it's not an anomaly, a signature. So you can use these icons in the bottom right. You can click top view and then grab the, grab the probes on the top. Let me do it again, top view, then grab the probes on the top and move them to the center then come down here and click side view and you can see the side views off a little bit so let's click the up arrow and move it up a little bit zoom out a bit okay now let's do it again but before we do let's shrink the probe size and narrow it down some more so we can come back down here and click it and drag it to the left and reduce it one size and hit analyze The probes are going to warp there, it's going to take a second, then they're going to scan, which takes another few seconds, and we should get a higher percentage on the data site. The data site is now at 69.9, so we're getting closer. We need 100% in order to warp to it. So let's recenter, let's zoom in a little bit. We can double click if we need to recenter, and let's move the probes a little this way, a little that way, and then let's tilt the camera down and look this way. So you can use these icons on the bottom left, or you can tilt the camera around yourself and just make sure it looks good. It looks a little high, so I'm just going to drag it down a little bit. And one other trick here is you can just double click in space, and when you double click, it's going to switch between side view and top view. So you can move it around this way, double click, move it around, move it around in this direction, and that's all you need to do. Well, what you want to do typically is also shrink it again. So you can come down here and drag it to the left again, or you can hold Alt. And when you hold Alt, then if you drag on the arrows, you're changing the size of the scan. So an easier way is just to hold Alt and click and drag. You can also hold Alt and then use your mouse wheel to scroll up and down and basically pick a size that you want. And then press B or click Analyze. The probes are going to warp there and scan. And let's see if it can find it. All right, it did. So now that data training site, and you can tell it's a data site in a couple ways. One, the column here under group says data site. On the far left, there's an icon. And that box with the three lines in it, that's the icon for data site. And you can see when you mouse over it, it tells you data site. And also, if you were to zoom in and look at it, you can see here that there is the data site and it's got the data site icon. So now that it's 100%, we could right click and warp to it or we can click the warp button over here. So why don't I recall my probes? Well, one thing I want to mention too is while you're up here, you can see your scan strength here, if you mouse over, and you can improve this with skills and better equipment and modules. And the higher your scan strength, the better you can scan things down and the higher level things you can scan down. And you can recover your probes here by clicking recover active probes and that will pull them back from space and put them in your cargo hold. If you want to launch them again, you have to come here like ammo, right click and say reload core scanner probes. That'll take a couple seconds. And then you can go back to your scanner window by coming down here, clicking, dragging to the left. 
and it'll save your results. Now if we want to launch again, we can launch our probes. And if you mouse over the probes up here, it'll tell you have eight out. And here it says they'll last an hour and seven minutes. So this is how long they'll last before they expire if they're just left out in space. Kind of like their battery length. Now, if you recover them and pull them back, you can use them again later. You just can't let them sit out and expire and basically let their batteries run out. Otherwise, they can't come back to your ship. And if you happen to warp away and jump into another system through a Stargate, then you'll lose your probes if you left them out in space. When you come back, uh, you won't see your scan strength here or anything. What you'll see is an icon that lets you click back. So you'll click on the icon that says recover lost probes. That's how you'll reconnect to your probes that you left out in space. And then you can click recover probes to get them back. There it is, this icon here reconnect to lost probes if you had any probes in space that you left from before you can click that and reconnect to them so now that that site is there let's click warp, warp drive active. and when we warp to it it'll show us that this is the module we'll need which matches with this module here the data analyzer and it's saying okay you need to use your analyzer so as soon as we get there I'll show you how to use the analyzer. Okay. So they're basically going to tell us this is a data site. I encourage you to read all this. There's a data site. We need to basically hack into this container here. So if we approach the container, our ship will fly towards it. There we go, we're going towards this container, and once we're within five kilometers, we can hack it. So we need to target it first and lock onto it. And then once we get within 5,000 meters, we can use our hacking module on it. While I'm at it, I'm going to reload my probes so I can use them later. All right, we're in range. I'm going to use my hacker module on it. So it brings you into this little mini game that you play. So you'll, you have to basically unlock the nodes and it's kind of like Minesweeper in a way. So let me click a node. You see that node says four. That's telling you how many nodes away you are from the system core or a bonus, some kind of bonus node. So let's unlock another encrypted node. We'll click it. That one says four as well. So we're four jumps away from something good. So let's click this one. This one also says four. So all three of these are four jumps away from something good. Let's try this one. Three, okay, we're making progress. Three, two, two. Oh, this is a firewall in the bottom right. It tells you about it. The firewall is a standard piece of system defense known for its high coherence. You can attack it by left clicking it. So you basically have to, to fight with it. Think of it as a mini game where you are fighting against the system and you have hit points and it has hit points and you do damage and it does damage back. In the bottom left, if you mouse over this, you'll see this one on the left is called virus coherence. This is basically your hit points. And in this case, you can see you have 25 of these virus coherence units. That's how much health you have, basically. <clears throat> it's how much damage you can take before your hacking attempt fails. This one on the right is your virus strength, which is basically how much damage you do. And you can see here, this number, it says 10. So you do 10 damage and you have 25 hit points right now. If you look at this subsystem node, this firewall, the icon on the top, that's its coherence. It has 20, 20 coherence, which is its hits point, hit points. It has 20 hit points, and it does 10 damage. So when I click on it, it's going to do 10 damage to me and bring my hit points down to 15. I'm going to do 10 damage to it because I have 10 strength, so I should bring its health down to 10 hit points. So I'm going to click it, and there we go. It did some damage to us, and we did some damage to it. It's got 10 hit points left, and notice we have 15 hit points. If I click it again, I'm actually not going to lose any. So when you perform the killing blow, it doesn't have a chance to attack you back. 
so you don't get any damage taken on the killing blow that you do to it. Okay, so let's move forward. That one has one node away. So we're really close to the system core. It's gonna be one of these. Let's try this one. No, now we're two away. So I'm guessing it's gonna be this one here. There it is. That's what the system core looks like. When you finish this one off, you will get the loot. You'll unlock it. So it's only got 20 hit points and it does 10 damage. So if we do one, we're left with five hit points. Okay, now the last one, we should be able to kill it in this blow so it won't do any damage to us and we just hacked the system. Now we can open the cargo and get what's inside and get our proof of discovery. We can click loot all. Loot all will put it in our ship and then it'll tell us to dock. Warp drive active. All right, now we can go back and turn this into our agent and complete our mission and then work on mission number four out of five. So that mini game is going to be the same for hacking the data sites and the relic sites. You're going to use different modules. You'll use the data analyzer for the data sites, which is the one we just did. And again, the data site will drop data cores, encryptors, and other materials related to building tier two modules and ships. All right, now that we're back here, we can click start conversation and we have our proof of discovery. We will get the ISK reward and let's complete mission. Okay, we got our standings increase. And she says, by the way, I have another mission. All right, we just finished three of four. If I hit request mission, we'll get mission four, which I'll do in the next video.